um, my house parents at the time, they say, hey, we're, we have some new um, house parents who are going to be your alternates here. I want you to go say hello. And um, my plan was just to go straight from the front door to my room, like not talk to anybody. Um, but she stopped me and she said, I want you to go say hello. So I come up and I wait, you know, to be able to introduce myself. And Miss Knapp stops the other girl and she looks at me and um, she had no idea who I was, didn't know my name, didn't even give me a chance to speak. But she looked at me and she said, I really want to tell you something. She said, I don't know what you're going through right now, but I, I, I want to tell you. that you have a purpose. And I really want you to know that God loves you and that you need to keep holding on to Him. She um, had never met me before, but she had the nerve to say that. Um, and I would love to tell you that everything got happy and bright and shiny after that. Um, but that wasn't the case, but it, it was the first step that God showed me that I am here and I love you and there is so much more if you just hold on and let me work in your life. And um, that was the first time that I really felt the presence of God so prevalent in my life. Um, it was the first time that I had actually felt that emotional connection with this awesome, all-powerful creator who sincerely loved me and wanted to do something with my life. He had created me for a reason, out of love and out of compassion and out of grace. You know, when I graduated Boys Ranch, I was a completely different person. Um, my father and I were in a completely different relationship. It was almost like we were two different people. Uh, my mom and I were slowly working on building that back up. Um, I had a choice for a future, and my choice was that I was going to take hold of it and do as much as I can with it. 